Shalom. Salam. Oh yeah. I've watched, I've watched that watch. That's I think, my I shit. Think, I think it's a six hit, or at least one from this season. I only had two. You want a beer? Yeah, the one uh, where no, thank um, you. he gets married. Yeah, they divorce him. That's interesting, though. What was that about? Well, the pre well from the the show, the one I saw was about evidently. Hmm. Shalom. Salam. Greetings, <clears throat> I'm John Spence, um, welcoming everyone to another uh, segment of Fake Tree Generation. Uh, for this short segment, I want to talk about the definition of a true rebel, the definition of a true revolutionary, not a so-called rebel, all these so-called little you know, rebels without causes running around in today's generation. <clears throat> What is the definition of a true revolutionary or a true rebel? One who is a nonconformist? Okay, well, we think of today's worldly conceptions or worldly perceptions of what a so-called rebel really is. Somebody who's rebellious, according to society standards. Someone riding on the back of a Harley with a bunch of tattoos and piercings, you know, cursing, breaking commandments, you know, drinking, smoking, uh, snorting, shooting up, whatever. And that's not really the truth. Not that there's anything wrong with a little drinking on the side, with self-control, a little smoking or smoking herb. All those are blessings, you know, when it comes to true righteousness. But as far as breaking commandments, you know, there's nothing wrong with a little cursing in moderation to express one's emotions. But as far as breaking commandments and thinking you're cool because you're some hot shot, you know, cheating, stealing, committing adultery, <clears throat> murder, blasphemy, all those things. See, that's where modern whitewashed Christianity and Christendom and these Antichrist spirits have deceived people. And thinking, okay, we're modern Christianity and, con you know, conformity and all these things are putting pressure on society, which they are. You know, I think this is what you're supposed to be as a clean-cut all-American or good all-American citizen in this country. And that's not true, man. You got to understand, you got to properly, should I say, overstand that our U.S. government is Antichrist. So to be a true rebel yeah, against these satanic forces is not to get a bunch of piercings. I mean, long hair, fashion, braids, dreadlocks, mohawks, you know, colored hair. All that's fashion. All that's good. I'm saying, but like, you know, posting up upside down pentagrams and 666 and thinking you're some kind of rebel, like you're thinking you're some kind of rock star, is freaking retarded. Yeah, fool, shit. I mean, yeah, like I said, piercings, tattoos, all that's cool, all that's blessings. Tattoos aren't necessarily blasphemous, according to the accurate interpretation of the original Torah or Old Testament. Now, if you get a tattoo of you know, Tasmanian devil, you know, having anal sex with, you know, Calva next to a number three with the satanic symbol or 666. I would say that that's blasphemous against the temple, the body, which is the, the temple of the Holy Spirit. But that don't make you a true rebel. Being a true anointed son of the Most High, Jah, one of God's elect of the Most High, makes you a true rebel. Because to be righteous, to be truly righteous, is to go against Society, you see, society wants to make you think, oh, be a good, you know, goody two-shoes, good American citizen, you know, be a good all squeaky clean, you know, good old Christian. Get caught up in modern Christianity or religion or, or be agnostic, but just be a good American citizen, you know, be squeaky clean, get your hair cut, don't have any tattoos. Like, tattoos can be a beautiful way to express your faith. A lot of people get what they call so-called religious tattoos of crosses or whatever on their body and there's nothing wrong with that man um but i'm what i'm saying that don't make you a rebel if you want to be a true revolutionary if you want to be a true rebel read your bible why because the mass majority of people are not doing that and 
You want to be a true revolutionary? Actually strive to keep the commandments. Know the commandments. Keep the commandments. Not just, well, I heard in Sunday school, you know, about the commandments. You know, the, you should not murder and you should not steal. You know, faith without works is dead. And as far as you hippo Christians out there that want to be all religious and judge a man when he comes into your church dressed a certain way or got a certain hairstyle or tattoos or piercings and you're judging a man's heart by appearance, go back and read James chapter 2. That's all I got to say. Peace.